Okay, welcome back. Again, what I want to look at today is the sitting gills 2357 or which has now changed to the 5357. And what I want to look at is the statutory regulations. Now, this will be done in two parts, okay? Now, again, you need to read the information given and write it out and make it your own, okay? Now, the 2357 has now become the 5357, so bear in mind that the 2357, as, as a number reference for sitting girls, probably no longer exists, but it leads directly into the 5357. Now, the work content for the 5357 is the same or similar to the 2357, okay? Now, again, read the information for yourselves just simply telling you what you should already know okay and apply for your own edification that means learning now statutory regulations these are enforceable by law okay and they must be complied with in any situation. Again, keep to date in regards to the IE regulation because that will tell you if there have been any changes which you need to comply with. And remember that we are now in the 18th edition of the IE regs, IET regs, as of the 1st of January 2019. Now again, keep up to date because be aware that there still may be amendments to the 18th edition which have not yet been implemented due to changes which is unforeseen at this moment in time and again we don't know what effect Brexit will have on those regulations at this time okay so again read information be aware of cost control of substances and hazardous to health working at height regulations, uh, personal protective equipment at work regulations, the electricity at work regulations. These are regulations which are specifically applicable to yourselves as electricians. Get to know them, understand them. Uh, you can also find updates and additional information on HSC, the Health and Safety, Ex Health and Safety Executive, on the web page. Okay? All you need to do is type in HSC and run it, and it should bring up a lot of information in regards to that. It helps to keep you up to date with information needed. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Now again here, non statutory documents. Be aware of those non statutory documents. The IE regs is a non statutory document. AEU guide, that used to be a union document which was enforced many moons ago. Whether it still is or not is a matter that I have not yet come across. I have to admit, I have not seen a, a, an AEU book for some years now. because there, there used to also be a book for the electrical, electronics and plumbers trade unions but I believe that that union was abandoned, abandoned quite some time ago or I should say dissolved now again here electricity safety quality and continuity regulations 2002 read the information Use HSC on site to help you to understand and expand your knowledge. Write out the information if you need to. Pen and paper works wonders. Old fashioned, yes, but it works. Highly effective. Now, okay, here, electricity at work regulations 1989. Now, again, Keep this in mind, be aware of what it refers to, and this is trying to tell you 
the EWR is concerned with anything that is electrical and used at work. Okay. Now here we have the electricity part two of the electricity at work regulation covers the general aspects of electrical work. Now you need to know this. Look at regulation four for instance. It refers to systems, work activities, and protective equipment. Regulation 5, strength and capability of electrical equipment. That is to ensure that the equipment you're going to use in regards to your installation is safe and will withstand the voltages that's going to be applied to it. Okay, the rest you can read and follow for yourselves. Again, do your additional research. And here we have EWR states that before any work is done, three things must be in place. And these are your three things which must be in place before any work is done. Make sure you comply with that requirement. Management of Health and Safety at Work Regulation 1999. Okay. Now again... This is telling you about to carry out formal risk assessments to have formal management control systems in place, to have specific protective and preventative measures set in place by the employers. Okay. Again, reinforce this. Look up for any, any additional amendments to this that might have occurred since 1999. And again, your point of reference is HSC Online or the IEE regs. Again, 18th edition. Workplace Health, Safety and Welfare Regulation 1992. Now, what that is about, you need to make sure that the workplace is safe to work in and that when you go to work in the mornings the chances are that you will come back home in the evening okay that's what that is about now make sure you understand what this is trying to say look uh, again on, on the hsc website to see if there's any additional new amendments which has been made so that you are aware of those amendments and make it part of your work now you need to write these out for yourselves or download a copy from HSC. Information forms part of your training as an electrician. Okay. Okay. Control of substances has us to help. 2002. Again, similar thing here. Keep this in mind any amendments that, that might need to be followed upon. Control of substances, again, telling you here what the risks are and how these risks can be dealt with, okay? of hazardous substances, okay, and bear in mind the effects which can occur. So if you find that you're itching excessively when you go home, then you need to have it examined. And don't just ignore it, because it, these things have the habit of getting worse. They don't get better if they're not treated. I want to make sure that you are uh, an electrician for quite some time, and a lot more than just an electrician, okay? That's your role. Okay. Again, how might you be exposed to harmful substances? Again, this tells you here. Now, notice these safety data sheets. They are 
available on HSC websites and to tell you exactly there's a lot more than these which are available so get yourselves familiar with those symbols now please note symbols are one old version and one the European versions and standards oh so, sorry about that I just went off went off camera okay right make it your business to know you should know these by heart okay you don't need to guess them Find out about them, learn them, know them. Practice makes perfect. Again, the work at height regulations, 2005. Look and see if there has been any amendments to this. Make it your, your business to find out. And here, you must answer the questions at the end of each session. Do not ignore the questions. Should you ignore, decide to ignore the questions, I will have a lot to say about it, okay? Because I'm not doing this to call them handsome, good looking. I'm doing it with a view that hopefully will help those people who want to have a future in electrical engineering and who, with prospects, become all electrical and power engineers of the future. Okay, I think that's it. And that will do us for today. Okay, I hope you found this useful. Have a good day. Bye-bye for now.